is we're going to talk a little bit about volume, specifically volume of rectangular prisms and triangular prisms. Um, we see right here a picture of a, a rectangular prism. It's a prism with rectangles as its bases. And we can see the equation for volume is the area of the base times the altitude. Now when I say altitude, I'm talking about this up and down part right here. Sometimes we also call that the height. You'll see people use that the same, but we basically find the area of the base times the altitude. Now our base that we happen to look at right here, we can see that that is this rectangle right here. Um, and if we were to find the area of that base, all we would have to do, we could say that's the same thing as the length times the width. And then that's going to be times the altitude. So if you have a rectangular prism, length times width times the altitude. And so in this case, we have uh, 3 times 10 times 4 or 30 times 4 or 120 inches cubed. Now when we think about volume, one thing that is kind of helpful um, is to think of it in terms of kind of layers. Um, and especially when we're trying to figure out what the base is. And this is going to come make more sense and be more important as we look at uh, other types of prisms. But if you have a rectangular base, right, if we were to kind of imagine, right, that that first layer is like an inch of it because um, it's a four inch tall thing. So let's say we had a second layer right here. And so we filled it in. And so we have kind of like two layers. So that would be like two inches up. Then let's say we had a third layer that we kind of filled in. And then finally a fourth layer. And so we can kind of imagine that, right, as those those are the different layers. And so when we think of the base, we want to think about we take a layer of the base and we stack another layer of the base on top and another layer of the base on top. And this is what you're going to be doing for prisms. So if we were to, let's do another real quick example of a rectangular prism. I'm just going to draw a small one over here on the side. So let's say we had two by three, and then we'll go down like so. Not perfect, but okay. Five, and we'll say these are all meters. Okay, so we would use that same equation of length times width times altitude. In this case, we have uh, two times three times five, or six times five, or 30 cubic meters, right? And the key thing there, though, is that we are really thinking about the base. Um, that's our starting point for the 2 times 3. So let's say instead we were looking at something like some triangular prisms. So right here we've got two different triangular prisms, and you can see one's tilted one way and one's tilted the other. We want to use that idea of thinking about the base and stacking up the base. Now, when we think about which side is the base, we can see 3D shapes, right, they can rotate different ways. Um, but we're going to think that in this situation, our base is always going to be, again, we're thinking about stacks on top. So if we had, for instance, to imagine we filled in that first layer with the base right here, and then, and then we took another layer of another triangle, and we put another one on top, we could, we could see that we could sort of fill that with that way. And that tells us that what we're looking at right now is the base is actually on the bottom. Whereas if we were to look at this other one over here on our right, we can see that if we were to fill in that base and then take another rectangle, another one on top, that they would be different sizes, right? It would You couldn't stack that same size up and up and up. So that's how we know that what we're looking at is specifically the base. So that means in this particular triangle, this side right here, is actually going to be the base and we could kind of imagine you're almost twisting or tilting the thing so that it would be kind of on its base part and then you could stack those triangles going up so when you use this equation the volume equals the area of the base times altitude you're going to find in this case that triangle is going to be the base and so that we can think remember triangle is base times height divided by 2 and then that whole thing will be times the altitude. Okay, so in this particular triangle, we can see our triangle has a base. Again, we have two bases here. It gets a little confusing, but a base of four. The triangle has a height of six. We would want to divide that by two and then multiply that whole thing 
right, times the altitude, which in this case is going to be 12. That's this dimension. Again, sort of thinking we rotate it so the green part's on the bottom part. So we have 24 divided by 2 times 12, or 12 times 12, or 144 cubic centimeters would be our volume. But again, key thing whenever we're thinking about prisms, whether they're rectangular, triangular, octagonal, trapezoidal prisms, we want to think about rotating it so the base, that separate shape is on the bottom, and you can think about filling stacks and stacks of that. Um, and then just find the area of whatever that base is and multiply it by the altitude.